Hi guys, I'm now on my way to the HarperCollins building. <laughs> um, it's finally time for the ultimate geek party for Holly Smale's last book. It's going to be held in the HarperCollins building. I'm standing right in front of it right now. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, it's also my first time in the HarperCollins building, which is also very exciting. Uh, I've heard that there will be cupcakes, there will be mocktails, and of course we get to ask Holly some questions. Last time she was in the Netherlands, she did sign my book, but I couldn't be there. Um, so I'm really excited to meet her now. Uh, yeah, can't wait. Why should I care at all? Watch me fall. I'm here right in the HarperCollins building. It's on the 17th floor and you can see all over London. Um, right behind me is where everything's going to happen. The, the ultimate geek party for Geek Forever from Holly Smale. She's right there taking photos with everybody and I'm allowed to interview her in a bit. I'm really excited. Maybe I'm losing and trying to resist. Should I just go with it? Whoa, oh, oh, go, oh, oh. I'm lucky and Holly's are lucky because Holly chose Upper Collins to be her home and Harriet's home, and that's an amazing thing. Um, so I'm going to go and meet Holly and Harriet and find out what they're doing and what they're like. Hi, Holly. Hi, and I'm happy to say that we're up to a million sales worldwide. So Woo! congratulations! Woo! <laughs> um, and I think you're all agreeing that Holly's amazing. Um, Holly's writing is a bit like the Australian sunshine. And whenever I dip into one of her books, it makes me feel really, really happy. I wish I had had Holly when I was growing up. And I could also have met her, which I know you all um, have done. And are very it's brilliant to see you all. Um, having your photographs done and then your nails done and you all look great. It's just fantastic. So without further ado, um, it gives me great happiness and good fortune to introduce the one, the only, the best, the original, Holly Smale. It's just been amazing to meet so many like amazing readers, and they're just the smartest, coolest girls in the entire world. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been the perfect way to end the series. That's very cool. I had uh, a couple of uh, blogger friends of mine who had a couple of questions for you as well. Yes. Um, so how did the characters come to you? 
Um, some of them are based um, loosely on people I've met or I know or people in my family. Um, and sometimes they're based on people that I might have met for like an hour or ten years ago, but I've just remembered mm -hmm. sort of things about them. And a lot of them are amalgamations, and some are just completely new and they just turn up in my head and I want to write them the way they are. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a hot watch. Um, but character writing is, one of, is my favourite thing about writing, really. Creating all these brand new people that live and breathe. So. So what comes first, the story of the story of the characters? Well, it, the, 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 character, the story is always based on Harriet's character. So Harriet's personality and the way of the kid world is always first. And then I build the story and the plot line from that. Um, and then obviously everybody else is, is, is living, but I have to try and make sure that they're not, they might be secondary characters, but they're still as important as Harriet. So, um, but the, the plot normally takes um, shape because of who Harriet is. So it's always her character that comes first. Um, so, are you a true geek girl? I am. I am. I'm incredibly geeky. Um, she is. My, my mom. <laughs> thanks. I'm, yeah, I am geeky. Um, and I think as I've gotten older, I've just uh, stopped worrying about it so much and just kind of embraced it. Um, but yeah, I think there's a bit of geek inside everybody, to be honest. Um, but some people are a bit more obvious about it. <laughs> so, um, how about Nick? Would you fall for Nick? In real life? Yeah, I think I would. Um, yeah, he's amazing. I wanted to create a character that was. Um, Quite old-fashioned in a way, quite um, like Jimmy Stewart. Um, very calm, very kind, very considerate, um, funny, but in a very kind of laid-back way. And yeah, I think he's he's an amazing character. I love him. So yeah. <laughs> what was your favourite book to write? They've all been really amazing in different ways. So book two, I loved writing because it was Japan. That's my favourite country. I have lots of anecdotes. So yes, it's amazing. It's brilliant. Um, and like, obviously book one was when I first met Harriet. So that's very special. Um, but three was a lot of fun to write, and it was just very easy. It came very easily. Um, all of the books have been incredibly satisfying. But I think the end book was has been the most emotional to write, just because I had to tie up all these stories that I started nearly a decade ago, mm -hmm. and making sure that I give all of my characters a satisfying ending. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thank you so much. Thank Looking you. forward to your new project. Thank you. Can't be saying much about it. Yes, at some point soon. Okay, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. It's brilliant.